Hello traders, here one more time with you, Eric Muñoz in Lion Bull Academy. And this was now uh, it is on crackers. <laughs> Very tasty by the way. Today we're gonna make a video about a dividend portfolio with some monthly dividend income. So we have a passive income each month. The idea of this portfolio is to make them more affordable than possible. It means with less amount of money than possible, but that you can see some growth there. So we choose to make this portfolio with $10,000 because with less money, you can do it, of course. Even with $1,000, you can start a dividend portfolio. But the amount of money you will earn will uh, come interesting only after $10,000. Need to be honest about it. So let's look in, in this portfolio how it's made and what we have it. We make, I tell you, around $10,000. Now it's changed a little bit because market is open and the price is changed all the time. But I will start this portfolio with $10,000. Um, we have the next ETF in stocks. We have a QILD, AGNC, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, PPL, LTC, Realty Income Corporation, AT&T, JP Morgan, and Altria Group. Each one give a different dividend yield. Someone the more highest is 15.67 and the lowest is um, 2.17. This is the dividends they give it. Yeah, yield of dividends. Uh, let's look in the risk of this portfolio. The portfolio is not so volatile, so we have a low risk. We are, it's a decent portfolio is not really the greatest one because we have a big exposition the 40 percent of us portfolio is in the financial sector so we have a big exposition to that sector 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 <laughs> the sector especially and then we have uh, around 20 percent in consumer goods um 10 percent in generals service other 10 percent 10 percent in technology and other 10 percent in others so this is the sectors it's a full 100% dividend portfolio. The dividend yield, the average dividend yield of us portfolio at the moment is 6.88%. That is around $700. Around this one, we will earn each year $700. Remember, you have to need to talk, count the tax and the take it away and everything, and gonna be a little bit less. But for the um, make simplify this video, we don't gonna talking about tax. Okay, here I make it in the um, calendar and um, how much dividends will give it to us each month and in the year complete. Uh, each stock we put exactly $1,000. We have 10 stocks, $1,000 in each one, in total $10,000. In uh, January, we will get from QILD, AGNC, LTC, and O every month we get salary but from the rest in specific months. So in totally, from QILD, AGNC, uh, PPL, LTC, O, uh, JP Morgan, and um, Altria Group, we will get $68.84 the, the months of January. So that's nice. We have already $68 in us portfolio for um, possibility to use it for um, something that we need it in, the day, in, the, in that month or for reinvested in um, other stocks ETF or increase the position in us portfolio. Um, really the goal of this portfolio is for use it like a passive income. So the 68 you can use it for something that you need, I don't know, your um, subscription to Netflix or your phone uh, bills or your light or water bills, you can use it for that stuff. The idea of a passive income um, portfolio is to arrive to the moment that all your needs will be paid by dividends, by a passive income. Okay, next day, February, we will earn 54.91. We have the same four stock who give each month salary, plus AT&T will give us 23.45. March is the lowest, is who normally give um, less and it's around 36.98 but april is the april july and october are the biggest uh, income we will get 76.25 in that months in totally at the end of the year we get around 700 dollars remember that the um, dividends give each company can change months by months can be more less because also depends 
in the appreciation of the stock or the um, situation in the market. But this is just an example approximately the how much you can earn. So with 10,000 K you don't get, you're not gonna become rich, but you at least get each mm, year $700 that can help you a lot, I think, or that you can use it for create your future growth portfolio. Each year you have $700 that you can use it for, I don't know, buy TQQQ or buy another stock that you like it. It's all up to you. With 100K instead of 10K, we will earn in a year 6725 it's already much better you already with that 7000 almost you can um, do a lot of things more it's already even um, you even can live really if you want it from from it not so comfortable but you can live if you have 1 million you will get a year 67000 68000 almost 70000 so that's a lot more interesting, but one million is not so affordable for everybody. Uh, instead of spend this ten thousand uh, dollars in this more diversified portfolio for the monthly income, we will use it only the QILD who give us income each month. With ten k, we was earn in one year one thousand five hundred sixty seven. In um, with hundred k, we will earn. 50,670 and with 1 million 156,700 so that's already um, a big difference with the same amount of money invested yes you will have a complete um, exposition only in the Nasdaq 100 and especially in the calls of the CTF and it means you have only exposition in the um, technology sector so this you also need to keep in mind the other is a little bit more diversified too much really in the um, financial sector but we can even create a little better portfolio but i just would want to show you that if you have that amount of money in your um, bank without use it that is just their store at least you can earn some income from um, this one because if you put um for fixed income in the banks uh, at least here in europe uh, they give you around 1.42 or 2.47 annual um, annual yield for your money that is supposed to be more safe because the 10,000 will still be 10,000 at the end of the period on the say 10 years but you have the inflation that this can affect the value of this ten thousand dollar can will go low in value and it's more probable that the stocks that you pick will go up in value than than the money that stay just stock inside of your bank um, another stuff i was want to show you let's uh, say we start this portfolio with ten thousand dollar we put no money inside but we use this dividend for grow this portfolio uh, in 10 years so at the beginning of the first year we have 10,000 but at the end of the year number 10 we will have 18,000 we almost duplicate as account in um, 10 years the dividend start from $700 that we earned the first year to $1,292 at the year number 10 so in 10 years by grow this account alone you will have $1,292 each month in passive income, each year, sorry, in passive income. Yeah, it's not really the greatest one. Mm, you probably don't see the growth you are waiting because 10 years is not a big amount of time, but it's not, not too less, especially if you are already some age, you are not too young. So we can, what we can do it is try to help him uh, with, uh, let's say, um, 1200 something here is gone oh, I think my internet is gone let's try to charge in again the page okay. let's do it mm -hmm. 200 6.8 and this to zero in 10 years okay and monthly if we 
helping each year this 10,000 for 10 years we increase $1,200 each year at the end of the 10 year we will have 32,792 so that's already something better in just 10 year and as dividend will go up to $2,301 that's really um, already you have some um, interesting income after 10 years from the 10,000 initial plus 1,200 each year um, remember that in this kind of portfolio is the power is really in the years more time you reinvest these dividends more will uh, you earn at the end if instead of make for 10 years you put for 20 you will end the in 20 years you will have 81,000 and you will earn around six thousand dollars a year so that's already something but if you don't have years what is what we can do let's say uh, I example and now I have 37 so I still have enough time for waiting 20 years and just put 1200 a, a year and still achieve a decent um, income for for a future sorry again for the sound for my future but let's say you have not the time you have just 10 years of time before your pension so the only stuff you can do it is increase the amount of money you put each year so you do this instead of put 1200 a year you put 5000 a year with the 10000 initial in 10 years you will have 78000 and your income will be again 5400 96 so the same amount of money you will earn at the end of 10 years with 5000 each year then if you invest 1200 each year for 20 years so this is the power of compounding and the power of put more money inside of the um, account i show you this one because if you have this kind of amount of money in your bank but without doing nothing if you uh, put fix you will earn only a 2.47 percent a year you do it this in the bank but if you use your dividend portfolio you will earn a lot more and also you will have okay the risk or the benefit of the volatility of the market in 10 to 20 years the market can grow a lot and you can earn a lot more from your money or at least um, fight against the inflation that is the only stuff that in the bank can decrease the value of your money so this is the best way by my point of view you can do whatever you want it to have some um, um, passive income in your life in your portfolio without need to do exactly nothing just invest the first money in you have it in this case we use the 10,000 but you can use it the money you have available and just enjoy the passive income and try to find finally that financial freedom that all of us try to achieve i hope you like the video you have some questions you can comment me down below sorry for the sound and see you next time ciao guys